like to talk about uh, Operation Barbarossa, uh, which was launched uh, June 22nd, 1941. Uh, Nazi Germany's uh, plan to invade the uh, Soviet Union. This was the beginning of the end for the Third Reich, uh, be simply because of the fact that uh, Hitler had so much of his military forces tied up uh, in this operation. Uh, this uh, theater of World War II uh, was the biggest military effort ever mounted in the history of mankind. Uh, I know the Nazis had around three and a half million soldiers involved uh, in that uh, in the invasion. I think the Russians had somewhere over five million. Uh, the mistake that Hitler made, well Hitler made a couple of mistakes. One of them was he underestimated the strength and the industrial capacity of the Soviet Union. Uh, the Russians were, the Russians had a lot, had a far better ability to recruit new soldiers, you know, from different parts of the country. And so, even though the Nazis were able to take, you know, over 600,000 uh, Soviet soldiers prisoner, uh, within a matter of days, the Russians were able to have, have those replacements on the front lines fighting. Uh, plus, the Russians were, were well-versed in winter warfare. Um, when the winter came, the Germans were not ready for it. Uh, Hitler was counting on a decisive initial thrust or blow that would cause the Soviet Union to collapse. Uh, much to his surprise, it didn't happen. Uh, his thought had been, all we have to do is kick open the door and the whole thing will come crashing down. Uh, what happened was, to the Russians, it was called the Great Patriotic War. They did not want the, the, the Germans to be their masters. Uh, the Germans were already preaching that uh, the Russians were subhuman, and so the thought of being uh, the subject of Germany didn't really appeal to them too much. Uh, men, women, and children were involved in this effort. Uh, especially on the Russians' part. Uh, the Russians mobilized everything they had. The kids were digging trenches out in the streets, you know, Stalingrad, Leningrad, uh, other cities. Uh, Hitler, uh, he should have never invaded the Soviet Union because uh, this, basically Russia is just too big. Uh, he should have learned from Napoleon. Uh, Napoleon tried to invade Russia. He froze to death, basically. Uh, he had to endure the long march out. Uh, had Hitler not invaded the Soviet Union, who knows what would have happened. But because he did, I think it kind of took the pressure off of Britain a little bit. Uh, it's just kind of weird uh, to me that... Uh, you have these two opposing forces. They're basically the same. You know, you have one di evil dictator uh, to the west, and you've got another one to the east. Uh, but everybody, you know, forced the tendency here is to uh, heroify, I guess, or, or to glorify the Soviet Union. I think you're kind of rightly so because they weren't, after all, they were not the aggressors in this war. Uh, had it not been for the help of the Soviet Union, uh, it would have been much more difficult, I think, to defeat Nazi Germany. Uh, the people of Russia, I man, you really got to give them credit for that because they, I think they lost over 20 million people. Uh, they endured probably the worst hardships of all the, uh, uh, during the war, with the, with the possible exception of the people of China. Uh, Hitler, uh, I'll say it again. He was uh, he was he was not a dumb man, but that was his worst and his most and his biggest fatal mistake was Operation Barbarossa.
uh, and that just pretty much just sums up, just sums the whole entire fall of the Third Reich is that uh, Hitler should not have invaded Russia because what happened when he did, he froze to death.